We know that talent doesn't reside in just one race, religion, gender. Talent exists everywhere in our society. And so if your workplace doesn't reflect society, then we know that there's something going on. Some organizations have been working for decades to try to solve this problem. But if the nature of your diversity, equity, and inclusion is celebrating Black History Month and Pride Month, you're not gonna be making transformation within your organization. My name is Mandy Price, and I'm the CEO and co-founder of Canaries based in Dallas. The name Canaries actually comes from Canary in the Coal Mine. Miners used to take them down because they were not able to detect the toxic gases because it was odorless and colorless and tasteless. That's the same when it comes to diversity, equity, inclusion. Organizations know that they have a problem and we're helping to not only be that first alert, but to help them solve these issues. I grew up in DeSoto, Texas. From a very early age, I really saw the way people grappled with race and the changing demographics of our city. I was 10 right? The first time someone called me the N-word. And I remember having to talk about it with my parents. And I remember my parents having to have discussions with my brothers very early on about how to interact with the police. I think all these experiences as far as how they've defined my life is realizing that you can't run away from them. I went to the University of Texas at Austin, one of the only universities that has a statue of Martin Luther King, which is great, but the statute was egged many times. The university had actually put in place a racial respect and fairness task force, and I was one of the student representatives. That was some of the beginning of the work that I started to do with respect to diversity, equity, inclusion. Went to Harvard Law School, and I did go off and practice law for 12 years representing private equity firms and doing public company m and I was on the diversity committee at that law firm and was also on the hiring committee. We knew that we had issues retaining people of color and women. 50% of women come into uh, law firms and make up that entry-level class. But then when we look at partnership, only 18% of women are partners. You have to make sure that you have processes that promote equity because if you are doing nothing and you're working on kind of the way we've always done it, those systems weren't set up to be equitable. During one particular circumstance, we were at a recruiting event, because again, I was on the hiring committee, and one of the partners had asked me in front of other individuals, recruits, if I'd gotten to Harvard legitimately. And so I was stunned. You deal with so many different microaggressions over time that you learn to brush it off and keep going because otherwise you would just wallow. Wallow in the trauma, in the um, disappointment. Even when I became a partner in another firm, I viewed it as a normal part of being a woman of color working. It started to scare me that I started to normalize it that the things didn't shock me anymore. And I started to think about my children and I didn't want my children to then be going through those same things 20 years later. My husband was like, so you're gonna quit your job and you wanna start this company? And I said, I feel so strongly committed to it, so passionate about it and I want you to do it with me. He said, let's do it. We started the company in 2018 with Star Carter. We all went to the University of Texas at Austin together, and then Star and I subsequently went to Harvard Law together. Because of my unique experience of not only being a woman of color, but working within organizations to drive diversity, equity, and inclusion, I knew that companies can't make change unless they know the problems that exist. My first investor was my dad. My dad emptied, my dad emptied his 401k to start our business. When we talked to him about um, the work that's needed, and he's aware of the work, my grandparents were sharecroppers. So they grew up understanding not only the challenges that um, black people face in the country, but also the importance of community and the importance of supporting each other. We create that safe way for employees to leave that feedback while also giving companies the data and the information they need so they know exactly the things that they need to change to make their workplace more inclusive and equitable. 
We also give them a roadmap on these are the things that you can do. And then our DI consultants then help them implement and bring about that change. We were the first organization to sign on with Canaries and it's because we frankly appreciated how visionary and cutting edge their product was. It sends a message to, I think, the, the employee group that this is an organization that is not just giving lip service to the idea of diversity and inclusion. I don't know that I would consider it responsible for any organization to forego an opportunity to take advantage uh, of a resource like Canaries so they can give themselves the best chance of, of being successful in that effort. When companies sign on with us, we'll do an assessment of their systems, but we'll also do an assessment with their employees to really understand what are their challenges so that we really are able to hone in and help them understand where are the DEI blind spots. Employees from some of the companies we work with will say, I'm so glad our company partnered with you. I've worked here for 20 years and I never felt that I had a voice until now. These employees feel heard, they feel seen. We've had people working on our team for two years without getting paid because they were so passionate about our work because they've experienced these challenges themselves. A company like Canaries will always be needed. The idea of ensuring that we're always measuring and creating an environment that is inclusive for everyone will never change. I never once felt like I made the wrong decision or that this wasn't my calling because I know how critically important the work is. There's nothing else that I was put on earth to do but to do this.